Hello everyone. Our today's topic is moment and moment generating function. First, we'll go for moment. This topic is under random variable module. Now, there are two types of moments: central moment and raw moments. Central moments are taken about origin, and other are raw moments. There are four raw moments in our syllabus. So, first four raw moments are given by. Uh, there are two formulae we know random variables are of two type discrete random variable and continuous random variable discrete random variable we have already seen that there is a gap between two values or two variables okay whereas continuous random variable is a range where all the values are permissible this is already done now to find first four raw moments we have formula discrete random variable is given by mu r dash r stands for 1 to 4 so mu r dash is equal to summation pi xi r in short mu 1 dash is the sum of pi xi mu 2 dash is the pi xi square mu 3 dash pi xi cube and mu 4 dash is pi xi raised to 4 out of this First two are already seen. Mu1 dash is the sum of pi xi is also called as a mean of that random variable. Okay, and mu2 dash is required for variance because we have seen variance formula as mu2 dash minus mu1 dash square. So first two are already known to us. So mu3 dash mu4 dash is the same way we have extended. Similarly, here you can see the power of x is increasing same logic we have used in continuous random variable where notations are same and x is multiplied to the function x square x cube and x raised to 4 in the given interval whereas notations for same notations for both are same e of x e of x square x cube and x raised to 4 now we'll see one one example on this before that now these four were raw moments now using these raw moments you can find out central moments using the formulae the first four central moments are denoted by mu1 mu2 mu3 and mu4 i repeat raw moments are denoted by dashes and central moments are denoted by no dash that is simply mu1 mu2 mu3 and mu4 and their formulae is now mu1 is equal to 0 as it is at center we know mean is 0 that's why mu1 equal to 0 then mu2 is mu2 dash minus mu1 dash square which is variance then mu3 is mu3 dash minus 3 mu2 dash mu1 dash plus 2 mu1 dash cube and mu4 is mu4 dash minus 4 mu3 dash mu1 dash plus 6 mu2 dash mu1 dash square minus 3 mu1 dash raised to 4 it shows if raw moments are known central moments can be obtained so we'll go for how to find out raw moments first now we'll see first example on this which is of continuous random variable x has the pdf f of x in the range 0 to 3 and f of x is 0 otherwise find first four moments about origin and mean since it is continuous random variable we know it's a in, it's an integral so first four raw moments about origin is mu1 dash, mu2 dash, mu3 dash and mu4 dash. And for that we have x, x square, x cube and x raised to 4. And that function is kept here in the limit 0 and 3 and the values are obtained 8 by 5, 3, 2, 16 by 35 and 27 by 2. Using the, these four values or raw moments, central moments are obtained using the formulae given above. And it comes to 0. 11 by 25 minus 32 by 875 3693 upon 8750 this is the example of continuous random variable note this example and try to solve separately and match the answers now we have another example which is of discrete random variable a random variable x has pdf capital x minus 231 and probability for that is 1 by 3 1 by 2 and 1 by 6 find first four raw moments and central moments so we know for discrete random variable 
formula is pi x i pi x square pi x cube and x raised to 4. So using that product, so pi x i means minus 2 into 1 by 3 plus 3 into 1 by 2 plus 1 into 1 by 6 and then their addition which is 1. Mu 2 dash means we will be square x and then multiply it by p. It means minus 2 square which is 4 into 1 by 3 so 4 by 3. 3 square that is 9 into 1 by 2 is 9 by 2. Then 1 square 1 into 1 by 6 is 1 by 6. It comes to 6. Similarly, we will cube the x and then multiply by p. We will take fourth power of x and then multiply by p and it comes to 1, 6, 11 and 46. So, once we get raw moments, we can find out first four central moments. So, this was all about how to find out moments about origin and raw moments. Now, we will see moment generating function. Moment generating function about point is generated by m of t at a. a is a point and which is given by, again there are two formulae, one for discrete random variable and one for continuous random variable. Formula for discrete random variable is m a of t is p i into e raised to t of x minus a. It means exponential is attached with p. I repeat, exponential is attached with p in raw moments x was attached with p, x was attached with p, x square with p, x cube with p and here we have exponential with p. So easy to remember. On the same line we have in continuous random variable function is attached with same exponential term. So if a is a 0 that is about center then m0 of t is or can be obtained by sum of pi e raised to tx. And in continuous random variable, f of x into tx integral with respect to x. Now, once we get m0 of t, that is moment generating function using this formula, then it is very easy to find out first four raw moments. So, actually students, this is second method to get raw moments using moment generating function. And formula for both is common, that is mu1 dash is nothing but differentiate moment generating function hence we will be calling it as mgf differentiate mgf with respect to t and then put t equal to 0 mu2 dash is can be obtained using double differentiation of m0 of t at t equal to 0 then triple integral of m of t at t equal to 0 gives us m th mu3 dash and four times derivative of m of t at t equal to 0 gives us mu4 dash. Okay, So, this formula is common for both of them. Only different methods to get m0 of t. Probability is multiplied by exponential for discrete. Function is multiplied by e raise to tx for continuous random variable. Now, we will go for examples on this. Here, we have first example using continuous random variable. I repeat here. This is another method to solve or to find first four raw moments whereas central moments can be obtained using the same technique. Now first example is find the MGF moment generating function of continuous random variable x with PDF function is given as e raised to minus x for x no, positive 0 onwards. Also find e of x, e of x square and e of x cube. We know e of x is mu1 dash, e of x square is mu2 dash and this is mu3 dash. So first three raw moments are expected here. So let's see first how to find out moment generating function using a given formula. Now a moment generating function of continuous random variable is integral. Function is multiplied by e raised to tx and dx. We know x is greater than 0 means 0 to infinity e raised to tx into given function which is e raised to minus x. Now it can be written as e raised to minus 1 minus t into x dx as 1 minus t is constant for x. This integral is with respect to x. So integral is e raised to minus 1 minus t x upon derivative of power which is minus of bracket in the limits 0 and infinity. 
Now we know e raised to minus upper limit that is infinity. e raised to minus infinity is 0. So upper limit value is 0 minus lower limit x as a 0. So e raised to 0 is 1. So 1 upon minus of this bracket. So minus minus plus it gives us 1 upon 1 minus t. So this is moment generating function which is a function of t. Now we can obtain from this MGF our first three raw moments. As already told, the formula is mu1 dash is derivative of this function at t equal to 0. So differentiation of 1 upon 1 minus t is 1 upon 1 minus t whole square at t equal to 0 gives us 1 which is value of e of x, e of x. Mu2 dash is double derivative of m of t at t equal to 0 gives us 2 upon 1 minus t whole cube at t equal to 0 which gives us 2 value of e of x square. Similarly, triple integral at t equal to 0 is a value of mu3 dash which is a 6 and also denoted by e of x cube. So, this is another method to find out raw moments using MGF and it is always easy because mu1 dash mu2 dash mu3 dash with actual formula x into function, x square into function and x cube into function. So, this was the example of continuous random variable using MGF. Now, we will see another example which is of discrete random variable. If probability density function is given in this way, then find MGF and first four raw moments of course using MGF. So, there are four values of x and four probability accordingly. So, we know for discrete random variable p is multiplied by e raised to t x i. Therefore, MGF is nothing but simply, so it will be summation 1 by 6 e raised to 0 t plus 1 by 3 e raised to 1 t plus 1 by 3 e raised to 2 t plus 1 by 6 e raised to 3 t and it gives us 1 by 6 outside 1 plus 2 e raised to t plus 2 e raised to 2 t plus e raised to 3 t. So, this box is nothing but moment generating function of given distribution. So, first part is over. In second part, raw moments can be obtained by differentiating this moment generating function and putting t equal to 0. So, first differentiation gives us this at t equal to 0 gives us 3 by 2 which is value of mu1 dash first out of 4 raw moments. mu2 dash is double derivative of m of t or next derivative of this bracket. Therefore, m of t by putting t equal to 0 we get 19 by 6 mu3 dash 15 by 2 and then mu4 dash 115 divided by 6. This way using moment generating function we can obtain raw moments and this is the easiest method to get the same than the actual integration and differentiation. Thank you. Mm -hmm.